Hello everyone, welcome to the Andrew Cash channel. Today I will talk about a new NVIDIA RTX 3080 series by FGA. Here it comes. If you want to see another analysis of uh, other graphic cards like 3080s, uh, 3060 Ti, uh, watch my another video. Link will be in the description. First and foremost, what I want to tell you. This price, you see, $600, is not real. Why? Because you can't get your graphics card for this price. If you got one, hmm, you are lucky. That's all I can say. Um, and everything in this video will be uh, related to the real price in the stocks. So let's move on to the graphic card itself. Here it comes. GeForce RTX 3080 by EFGA XC3 Ultra. Have a look. Probably metal backplate. It has holes here, like all the 30 series. 3060 Ti, 3070, 3080 all have the same hole on the third cooler. It's, personally, I prefer three coolers on all my graphics cards especially in minor rigs. I believe it gives, it gives you less lesser temperatures, better cooling itself. It is really, really heavy. But overall, this new generation of graphics card is a failure. The new 80 series is a failure. Why? Because the produ how it is produced feels really cheap. Let's compare it to the much lower price model 3060 Ti. See by yourself. This one costs more than $1,000. That costs about half of the price of this. See by yourself. See? You see the size, they are the same. Power consumption of the premium of 3080 is enormous. It needs greater cooling, but the radiator, the overall performance is decent, but it is not what is going what is you what you want to get when you buy in Ferrari. You understand me? This graphic card is not as good as it may seem. Yeah, it's probably great for gaming, probably it is game it is great for mining, but they are, they are out of stock. You can't get enough of them. You can buy probably one or two graphic cards, free if you are really lucky. That's all what you can get on. They are out of stock. It's impossible to get enough. Mm, that's all. I want to add some details to the radiator itself. It has a lot of pipes in it. In it. it is much heavier than 3060 Ti. Much heavier because of this old metal coming through the, uh, through the older radiator. There are a lot of tubes, you see? Those are all tubes. But overall this graphic card is pretty noisy. It is pretty noisy. It uh, needs all these funds to be Functioning almost 100 to 80 percent of its speed, and what is also is very important, it has two power supply connectors. For mining, it is not quite good. It is not good. For gamers, yeah, they don't care. But for miners, is you need a lot of power supply for this. So here come the prices and some analysis about the um, price you can get uh, in the local shop or probably on eBay, on Amazon, I don't know where you're going to order it, if they are, they are all out of stock just for now. Um, here is the price adjusted by our local currency and transferred into dollars. This overall table is Excel spreadsheet made by Proton Russian Miner and um, edited and edited by me. The link in the description will be attached to you. You may check everything by yourself and make your own decision about the matter. So uh, let's jump 
this is a 30 series. The real price, let's compare it here. You see, it is not real. Here is the real price. You see, here is the real price. This is the real price we can get for a single, one single. It is not enough for money rig for one single graphic card of 3080 EGA. What, what else? The overall revenue and return on investment is pretty good, pretty good. Here, because of price pumped a lot, uh, to get a real decent 100 of this, uh, 100 mega hashes uh, with one, just one graphic card. Um, the overall price for one mega hash is also quite good. It's not as good as uh, 6060, 1660 super, but uh, probably if you are going to mine or um, sell it secondhand, it is not a great decision for now because uh, this graphic card you should have bought about six months or probably seven months before. Here is the new generation. What here is what we are talking about when we are going to buy a new miner rig. You see, ten months about the return on investment. Almost the best, the best option available right now, I believe, uh, because overall power efficiency is great. Price per mega hash is decent, but the only problem is the price, a real price, I, I repeat it exa exactly, real price, and the matter about that they are out of stock. There are no graphics cards in local shops. You just can't get enough to get your own mining rig working. Moving on to the mining. This power consumption showed here is achieved by down vaulting. I dropped uh, the consumption on the core for about 300 milliwatts. And that's how it was achieved. You see, um, Basic factory settings uh, gives you about 350 watts for mining Ethereum and about 80 mega hashes. But with pretty good overlock, I'm not sure is it were really good enough. Maybe you may push about five mega hashes extra more, but it's very unstable. Just just this very card. So overall power consumption is great. Noise, noise is really, it is really noisy. Heating, it is hot card. Graphic card is really hot. Be ready for this. You probably won't be able to sleep near it. I'm, I'm sleeping right near to my working PC station, but here I would rather you not recommend buy it in your home PC and sleep in this, with this PC in the same room. It is really noisy, but if you want to make an auto adjustment, uh, your hash rate will be dropped because uh, of overheating. That's why. So you have to force your coolers be at least at 80% or at 100% uh, to get a decent hash rate. Uh, and so your graphic card won't overheat. Or it will throttles. And the hash rate will drop drastically, about 90 mega hashes, uh, and still it will be very noisy. Um, my personal advice for you, buy another graphic card if you can. My best, the best performing for now is uh, Gigabyte RTX 3060 Ti. But if you want to buy a gaming PC and probably mine on it uh, at the same time, when you are not gaming. Uh, 3080 is a pretty good decision to make. That's all for now. If you want to make... That's all for now. Please subscribe. Leave a comment if you like this video. Uh, and leave a questions. I will answer all, all of your questions. 
in the comment section about new graphics card because I have a bunch of them. Uh, I was lucky enough to buy um, about five or six graphics cards of this new generation. Uh, all your questions will be answered by me. Um, leave a like, leave, a, uh, leave your own opinion about how to set up a new mine rig in the upcoming 2021. Uh, my personal opinion is uh, 3060 Ti is the best option, 3080 is the best option for gaming PC and mining rig in the same machine. Um, so if you want to mine and play at the same time, 3080 probably by EFGA is a good decision. It has a decent price, decent hash rate, everything just, uh, just normal. But if you want to buy mine rig, uh, look at 3060 Ti by Gigabyte. So it's all for now. Please subscribe and share. Give, a, give this video a like. Goodbye.